Welcome everybody. In this video, we will show a case study that we integrated the resistivity with log and also the scale data and especially the relative permeability data. The purpose for this case study is to calculate or to expect the water cut in the production plan. First, we have the resistivity log into the reservoir zone. We have the resistivity reading into a water zone. We have the porosity from the density and the neutron log. We know that we have a consolidated sandstone topology. Also, we have the relative permeability data from scale measurement. And also, we have some PVT data about the viscosity for water and the beta O for water and also the viscosity for oil and the formation volume factor for oil. Okay, so we will use a simple BVT simple Excel sheet. In this Excel sheet, we have three tabs. The first tab we will input the resistivity log reading and we will use the R sheet equations. We have the values for the RC equation constant, the M in A. These values is according to the lithology. Okay. Then we will enter the resistivity reading into the water zone. Okay. Then we can calculate the water resistivity or the formation water resistivity by using the equation of R sheet okay then we will enter the resistivity reading into the reservoir zone so by using this equation of R sheet then we can we can calculate the water saturation into that interval and also the oil saturation into that interval then the next step we will enter the relative permeability data then we will model this actual measurement relative permeability data by using the Cori model the Cori model but we should first determine the exponents for the Cori equations the exponent for oil and the exponent for water okay this is done by having an objective function which is simple which simply is the difference between the actual data and the model data by using Cori equation so to get the correct values for the Cori's exponent we will use the solver okay so we will tune the objective function until having zero by changing the cores exponent okay then we have exactly match it between the model model data and the actual measurement data then we will go to the last step which is calculating the water oil ratio and the water cut we know the equation of the water oil ratio which is the ratio between the water rate and oil rate by substituting into that equation by using the Darcy equation and eliminating the equal terms then we have the water oil ratio function of the relative permeability for water and oil and the BVT data so we can calculate the relative permeability by using the Cori equation but we should first know the water saturation into the targeted interval which is calculated by using the, the Arch equation here then the result of the relative permeability by using the Arch the water saturation from Arch equation and the core model so we have the values for the relative permeability data and this is the input data of PVT then 
the expected order or ratio from that wheel is about 8.7 or 8.6 and we have expected order or ratio nearly 90%. Thank you for watching that video.